Hi everyone, this is Jonathan Miller from the Sounds Good Choir, and I'm here to walk you through the Hebrew pronunciation for this piece by David Edelman that we're doing on our Spring 2021 concert, Hey Benu Shalom Aleichem. So there are a couple things in the Hebrew that I want to make sure everyone's aware of, and I figured a good way to do that would be to actually do a video with some demonstrations. So here we are. Welcome. Uh, there are only three words of Hebrew in this song, so that part's pretty easy. The first word, say after me, is Hevenu. Go ahead. Hevenu, right? The next word is Shalom. Shalom. Your turn. Shalom. The last word is Aleichem. Aleichem. Your turn. Aleichem. Good. So I'm going to point out a few features that will really make your Hebrew just uh, pop and sparkle. Um, which I would love from all of you, so here we go. I've color-coded a couple things, and so you can see some of the parallels between the words. Here we go. This vowel, A, it's just like you were to say, hey, as in hey, hey there, or hey is for horses, and I've put it in a yellow square, because hey, they knew, the first two syllables of the first word are, it's, I, it's the same vowel, hey, they knew. Go ahead and say that. Hey, venu. Uh huh. It's an actual diphthong, so you have two different vowel sounds elided together. Hey, your turn. Hey, again. Hey, venu. Go ahead. Hey, venu. And it's that's the same vowel as ale. Just say that. Ale. Good. Now, hey, venu. Your turn. Hey, venu. And just the first two syllables of the last word. Ale. Go ahead. Ale. Good. So I think you've got hey, venu down pretty well. Um, the H and the V and the N are just as you would imagine they are, same, same as they are in English. Now, shalom is a pretty, is a word you may have heard before, I hope, it means hello, goodbye, and peace. In this case, in this, in the case of this song, it's sort of hello and peace because it's a very friendly greeting. And you'll see in the second verse, which is in English, we come to greet you in peace. So that's the hello and the peace part. But the letter L in the transliteration of the word shalom, the L, I've color-coded it here and I've written it here. You, the, the tongue tip should be at the right behind your top front teeth. So I'm going to give you the complete opposite of what it should be. It's not shalom. Shalom has the L way back on the hard palate at the top of the mouth. This is the opposite. This is a forward Mediterranean L, as in Italiano. It's the same in Hebrew. So shalom. Get your L right up there behind your behind your um, your top front teeth and say shalom. Once more, shalom. Now really extend the L, just say l, go ahead, l. Now try this, listen first, shalom, go ahead, shalom. Mm -hmm. So you might have to work, uh, it might be unfamiliar to put your L there because sometimes in English we, we let it fall a little further back, but that's where the L should be, shalom, go ahead. Shalom. Good. Now let's put the first two words together. Hevenu shalom. Go ahead. Hevenu shalom. Very good. Now in this last word, the L of ale is the same L far forward behind, right at your top front teeth as you had in shalom. So say lom. Go ahead. Lom. And now le. Go ahead. Le. So it's the L from Shalom and the A from Hevenu, you get Ale. Go ahead, Ale. So we're going to do everything but the last syllable of this song. Let me say it for you. Hevenu Shalom Ale. Just that much with me. Hevenu Shalom Ale. Very good. Now, the last syllable of the piece, except for the final M, has two sounds we haven't had yet in this song. The Ch is a ch, it's, back, it's the back of the throat. It's the same sound you make when you say Johann Sebastian Bach. Bach, go ahead and say that. Bach, you feel how far back the ch is in the back of your throat? It's not the ich, it's not the far forward ch that you would have if you were to say, say the word ich, which means I in German. That's far forward also uh, up here, but the ch of, of, uh, in Hebrew is back there where you would say Bach. Go ahead and say Bach, Bach. And now you want to put that ch together with an open e vowel, which is e. So this syllable is chem, chem. It's not chem, it's chem. Just say chem. Go ahead, chem. 
So you have to start with that ch from Bach. Let me demonstrate again. Chem. Go ahead. Chem. Beautiful. Now a little shorter. Chem. Go ahead. Chem. Now we're going to put that together with a preceding syllable. Lechem. Go ahead. Lechem. Uh huh. So you need the diphthong. You need the two vowels alighted together on the le, followed by the open e vowel on chem. Let me demonstrate again. Lechem. Go ahead. Lechem. Did you remember to have your L be far forward on the le? Lechem. Go ahead. Lechem. Now we get to put the a in front of it. Alechem. Go ahead. Alechem. Yeah, that's a it's a plural it's a plural pronoun meaning basically for y'all or to y'all if we were in if we were in the south for you plural alechem and the accent is on the second to the last syllable alechem go ahead alechem very good now shalom alechem shalom alechem now we put the whole thing together I'm so excited hevenu shalom alechem go ahead hevenu shalom alechem now, one thing you'll notice when you learn this piece, it's a folk tune and music doesn't always exactly match word accent. So even the word is, though the word is shalom, you would never say shalom. You know, hey buddy, shalom. You would never say that if you saw a friend on the street, you would say shalom. But because it's a song, we can play around with rhythm a little bit. Hey venu shalom alechem. Hey venu shalom alechem. Hey venu shalom alechem. Hey venu shalom 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 alechem. Anyway, that's how it works. That's um, that's your Hebrew diction in a nutshell. Let's just do it one more time for good measure, slowly together. Hey venu shalom. Alechem. Now we'll do column response. I'll do each word and then you say the word after me. Hevenu, Hevenu, Shalom, Shalom, Alechem, Alechem. Good. Did you remember to get your L far forward and your Ch in the back of the throat? That's a little tricky there. Once more, the last word, let me repeat it. Let me say it first and you repeat after me. Alechem, Alechem. Once more, Alechem. Alechem. Good. Hevenu shalom alechem. Your turn. Hevenu shalom alechem. Woohoo! Yeah! You're done. We'll be working on this song for 15 weeks, so you might as well practice now. That's your Hebrew lesson. Thanks for being here.